Unbelievable. Hmm. Tinubu just exposed <laughs> Muhammad Buhari. Don't forget that Tinubu was one of the persons who sold Buhari, okay, very well to the South, saying, um, this man has got what he takes. He has identified the problems in Nigeria. He is ready to ensure that Nigeria becomes what it should be at this age and time. We are believed because when a man feels, you know, given the attention, the necessary attention he should get, guess what? He tags along. As we speak, Nigerians are just counting the hours, the days leading to the exit of this said uh, fraudulent administration. Now we get Tinubu come to tell Nigerians again that he wants to rule, he, he wants to lead. And guess what? He's just exposed Buhari by saying, I will correct what is wrong in the country. And Nigerians are asking, so you know that things are wrong. You know, say you know, you understand, say the Baba way you give us not the wrong person. And are you for some or not? So was it a plot so that when I go do turn by turn, anyway, 2023 is around the corner. And everyone who has been hiding behind the shadows will be out in the open. We will understand what you guys truly, really want and what you are after. At the end of the day, most of them is for their political gains. Let's get all the details. I will correct the wrong in the country if given the opportunity and the chance. Tinubu, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, has said he is aware that Nigerians are angry over the years of leadership, the failure in the country, and the inability of the current administration to correct the government and improve on the quality of lives of Nigerians. I remember precisely, we came and promised you change, but sadly, Nigerians have not experienced that change, and we're ready to make sure we get what we promised in 2015. Guys, Nalayo. Let's continue. He said, however, pleading with the people not to give up, but instead give the ruling party another chance in the next presidential election to correct the wrongs. Six years do pass. They want another 20 years, Abi. It not go happen. Let's continue. Tinubu is going all over for the presidency and a political career ending contest has been up and doing making plans and promises and seeking support from influential persons across the country. His most recent jad was seen when he visited the elder statesman Halaji Tanko Yakasi, who confirmed that the APC national leader was not only interested but really desirous of contesting for the next presidential election, but also has asked for his support. He said, Tinubu just came to visit me and assure that I have told them I have two presidential aspirants and I have a marked right from the beginning. I have made a vow that any one of them who comes and approach me and seek my support first is the person I will support. Tinubu happens to be the first person he said to Saturday Punch, confirming that Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu is really going for the presidency. It is believed that Tinubu is determined to contest in the next election if given the opportunity, by all means, want to run for the number one position. Speaking in Kano, in what would have been seen as a political statement from the man who hoped to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in 2023, Tinubu is always laying the, laying the groundwork, promising to address many challenges currently facing the country. When you see the social media today, you see the mind of the youth, he said. They are angry very angry. But we appeal to them that they should please listen, Tinubu has said in a statement, and be patient. He said the poor state of the nation economy has forced Nigerians into compulsory fasting, adding that the current government needs to do more to address the urgent issues. On your own, the rate of unemployment has risen by 33%. He says, these are things we will fix immediately if given opportunity as soon as I come on board. Guys, Nalayu, 
So that's what goes on. You heard me. Nalayo is a new phrase. I mean, in 2015, they were very clever to seek a consultant who also worked with the former president of America, Barack Obama. And the work of this consultant was to make a candidate appear the very what people want. And so they went ahead, they studied Nigerians, um, identify what, I mean, they, 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 they leveraged on the people's want, the cry, the neglect, and what have you. In picking and identifying with that, they thought on how they can pick a man who is accepted, who will be seen as one of theirs, a man of the people. My dear, do you know what happened? President Muhammad Buhari was seen wearing the attire from the east, from the west, from the north. He was seen with his wife and children to be seen as a family man, someone who believes in the morals, okay, and in the family units. <laughs> Nigerians, you don't see him for yourself, Abi. It shock you. You know, one of our, one of our, uh, um, one of those who do skits in Nigeria, well loved and um, accepted, uh, you know, comedian, is a person called Shaggy. And when he's very, when he's very excited, depending on what he's doing, he will ask a question. It shock you. Buhari is one of the most marginalized you know, nepotic president Nigeria has gotten since 1960. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria clearly states on how appointment, employment, administration, and how we should govern and go around the country. But should I interest you? Most of the things going on today, 70, if not 80 or 90 percent, are northern has been appointed. Let's even leave the presidency. Let's leave the legislative. Let's leave the arms of government. Let's leave the judiciary. Let's even go to other places and other appointments. Who is the very head of, uh, of custom? The very head of, M of, of Nigerian port authorities? The very, I mean, when you look at all these agencies, they are all headed by the North. It's strategic. The head of NAVDAC. The head of um, EFCC. These are all appointments that give people a sense of belonging. But when you have nobody there, which ought not to be, you are, you are handicapped. So you see, Tinubu wants to put us back in the hole. I don't, we will watch and see. 2023 is around the corner. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.